Y'all do not want us more like our grandmothers because y'all definitely would not stand a chance. Y'all don't even know who our grandmothers were. Our grandmothers, my grandma was born in the 1920s. My grandma was not fucking with you if you were not a fucking provider. My grandmother outlived both of her husbands. Both of her husbands left her property when they died. My grandma owned multiple, multiple family flats in the city of Detroit. My grandma stayed in a Benz or a Cadillac. My grandma always looked nice. She always had her rings, her jewelry on. She wore slacks. My grandma never wore jeans. My grandma also helped open one of the first Head Start programs in the city of Detroit. And my grandma would shoot you. My grandma would shoot you. So no, y'all don't y'all don't want us like our grandmothers. Cause she cooked, she cleaned, but she would only mess with you. You were a provider. She was not messing with you. You ain't had no money to give to her. Neither was my great grandmama. None of them. So if y'all want us more like them, you gotta be more like our grandfathers who provided for the women that y'all want us to be. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all do not want us more. This is obviously a classic case of cherry picking the fuck out of everything you want to cherry pick and then leaving out all the rest of the shit. As you see, as you, this is obviously a one off type of one of those one off type cases where I'm not sure how grandma looked or whatever, but obviously she was the type of chick who could get guys with assuming she's telling the truth. She's obviously her grandma was obviously the type of woman who could get those guys. But back in the day, you're talking about 1920s and shit. Those women also felt like they, they let the rankings fall down where they did. Meaning, if they man made the equivalent to $40,000 a year now, that was their fucking husband and they had kids with that guy. Like, period. Like, that was, that's what happened back then. But you want to ignore that. You also said your grandma didn't wear jeans. Y'all asses wear the fuck out of raggedy ass shit all day, every day. Did they stay single until they were 50? Not if she outlived two husbands. That means she got early and got married early. And then when the husband died, she went and got married again. How many of y'all even want to get married one time? How many of y'all want to actually have a bunch of fucking kids like they did back then? Or y'all want to just kind of like either not have them, have them at 80, or kill them if you get, when you get pregnant. Don't leave that shit out or ignore it. Also... Why do we always have to ignore or specifically tell y'all that the shit that y'all want wasn't the requirements back then? Kendra G show the constant, the constant. He has to love to travel. That was shit. What, yo, the granddaddy I know. When he retired, that mother, he was retired. Re fucking tired. He didn't do shit. You wanna go? You wanna go? Be, you want? Do you want us to be like them? And you just gotta deal with it. Listen, I and I said because everybody does it. So this is to everybody. Stop cherry picking the good shit. I hate this. Everybody that wants to point back in the day only wants to point out the shit that they like. There's a bunch of shit that if you got, if you had to literally be transported back to that time and just deal with it. You'd be miserable as fuck with those same men and women. You'd be miserable as hell. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to just go to your room and have your own individual like seven screens. That wasn't a thing. You wouldn't be able to talk shit re relentlessly and just think that you about to live through that. You you, you wouldn't. You said your grandma would shoot you. Nigga, you, he didn't have to be your man or your daddy to put you in your place. Do you want to go back to that? Stop it. Stop the bullshit. Stop it. And you're saying this. Did your grandma lay in the bed with this shit on and talk shit? Did she do that? Did, did she do this? Did she present herself this lazily? The irony. She always looked nice. And then you upload this video. All lips. That ain't got shit else, huh? Let's look at these comments. My ex-husband's grandmother was from the D. And she told me, empty pocketbook and a wet cat don't match. But y'all hoes, though, so y'all can't say that. 
And I'm not saying that to be derogatory either. I'm just stating it. Y'all are hoes. You, you, can't, you cannot use that. You always got a wet cat and a dude ain't got no money. You, you don't give a fuck, right? You don't give a fuck till you're 40. Then, then he got to have some money, right? And you can't wait until, you can't wait until that time to start using this. So that, this is null and void. Moving on. Your grandma ain't tell you all she did to have and receive all that stuff. Your grandma was a woman and yak back in today's time or tricks. Hell yeah, my grandma told me. She responds, just because your grandmother was a, was a hoe doesn't mean mine was. He never said that. He never said that. Why the fuck did you do that? Matt, here's, so here's the really big problem I have with this. If, if I, Unless I'm missing something, he didn't once say anything mean or derogatory to her about her or her, 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 her mama, grandmama, none of them. But she had to immediately shit on his grandma because what? It is she's not she's not even making a point. Y'all y'all can't all right now ladies, y'all can't be the whole you need to respect women and be like these guys and then y'all do shit like this. Cause y'all don't respect women. When y'all do this, this is y'all don't actually respect women. This is y'all just like to talk shit, regardless of who is going at. And that's and I, and that's that. So this it's good when 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 y'all are doing it to each other. Stop it. My family has been financially corrupted for my great grandparents. Your family ain't shit. Your grandma have to trick. Your mama definitely learned. Oh my god. How the fuck do you know all that? So your grandma was an only child who inherited. Ma'am, you can't do, use that as an example of what women got back in the day. It was not a. It was not a tip. It was not typical for a woman to have a bunch of properties inherited. To like, God damn, literally just to talk shit, just bringing up shit to talk shit. It's hard to respect somebody's point of view when when it's obvious that they just want to be able to go at somebody for nothing, or at least nothing they did. I'm not, that comment is stupid. Y'all can pause and go back and read that. I'm not doing that. My grandfather tried to cash his own paycheck. One, she cut that sentence off wrong. One time and they wouldn't cash it because my grandma signed it every week and cash it. And when he actually signed it, they didn't recognize his signature. That was terrible English. Oh my God, that was awful. But I've actually spoke on this before. That the, the the story behind this is these guys were not in like they were not in, in corporate America when this happened. That's not what happened. These guys who had their wives pick up their checks, they were working in plants and warehouses. That's where all the wives would go up there and stand in line and pick up the check. She wasn't she 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 was like and again back in the day you had a lot a lot of people who could survive and support certain lifestyles with just um uh what is that what is that um but with, with their factory paycheck so again you all want to hold to that standard y'all gonna have to get with these dudes that's in the factory and just be cool with it don't be like oh but i can make your own effect just stop nope stop it just be cool with the fact that, hey, he got the check from the factory. Be cool with that. Y'all want to go about talk about back in the day. My grandma threw hot grits on my grandpa for putting hands on her. These men don't want us like women born before the civil rights era. This is a horrible example, as I stated. Because you, 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 you're using domestic violence as an example of how we don't want you back then. First of all, I you have to assume that I I am just like a dude who would like abuse you in that way, dude. Nah, I nah, I have no desire to like 
do this. But let, let's be very clear. If I was that, if I if that was me, or that was really any guy, you do realize there are a lot of women who die from that. And that's the example you're using? Or oh, y'all don't want us from back then because if y'all put your hands on us, we'll throw hot grits on you. Okay. Get make it to the pot. Like, do you wanna you wanna play that game? Y'all pick the dumbest games to play. That's stupid. <laughs> y'all pick the dumbest games to play. That's crazy. You really you really gonna pick that as an example. That's alright. You gonna lose. You gonna lose, but sure. Let's let's move on. Okay. Those grandmas was poisoning their abusive what what? This is why. This is stupid. Why does this make sense to you? This makes sense to this why does this make sense to you to use this type of situation? Chopping off fingers, toes, hands, and feet. Bashing niggas' heads in with that cast iron skillet. They don't want us to be like grandma. Ma'am. This is the most retarded threat I've ever heard. Unless you really think you're going to be able to chop off all my limbs before I wake up. If you if you take one finger, try try taking a finger. Think remember, remember, in your analogy, I'm an abusive person. Right? So you think you're gonna be just chopping off fingers? I'm gonna wake up and go, oh my god, no. No, I, I remember I'm abusive in this analogy. You're gonna die. Now, this is a great example of the relationships y'all desire to have. Y'all don't even use examples of guys who just got to go to work and make it happen. No, y'all are fantasizing about the dudes who put their hands on you. That's what you like. So would y'all please, from now on, I don't want to hear any more of the, y'all beat us every five hours because you like it. You actively like being abused every five hours because that's what you think about immediately, all the time. As if I can't use that cast iron cell myself. That's so dumb. That's, I wish I would get married and then after the fact she says, to let you know, if you ever beat me, I'm hitched with the cast iron skillet. I will go hand her the skillet and five, four, three, Where's the kid? Like, this is so stupid. This is so dumb. Do y'all, it's very clear. You just get on the internet just to talk shit. Nothing else. You don't even actually attempt to have, like, decent, regular, back and forth, maybe to resolve a problem, maybe to get some insight. No. Just to talk shit. All right. And this is why I don't want a woman like that. Can't imagine myself coming home every Friday and slapping my check down on the table. Absolutely not. Um, I don't. I don't mind having the. Uh, that, that 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 doesn't bother me. Well, now we have direct deposit, but hypothetically, that itself doesn't bother me, right? As long as we're both adhering to the budget, that's just totally fine. I get my through the week money. She get her through the week money. But the only thing that I absolutely would not tolerate in that in that regards is you get to just run a rough shot and I gotta just deal with it because you I man, I provide her. I just I don't I should get nothing out of like I, I that's the only thing I'm not doing. All the people who are disagreeing grandmother is in their mid to late forties. If your grandmother ain't seven years older, be quiet. Ma'am, if you ain't no more attractive than that damn picture, shut the fuck up. My mama, bootleg moonshine, fought her dad in the front yard when she was fourteen, rode motors. Why? 
What? Hit them with cast iron skillets. What? Okay, ladies, listen. I'm going to say this and probably just read one more at the bottom or something like that. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're not winning a fight with, with me. Why, why is this even the concept that you keep going to? If I was like my grandma, I'd hit you with a skillet. My fist will still do inflict damage, dumbass. Like, what kind of threat is this? This is most, one of the most retarded threats I've ever heard. Well, even with a cast iron skillet, you couldn't win the fight. And even if you got a cheap shot, which is really what you're talking about, because you're not going to be able to swing it fast enough, even if you can't swing it. I'm going to wake up eventually and go, that bitch hit me with a skillet. Okay, that's how we're playing this. She better be gone when I get to the crib or when I, shit, when I get out of bed. Like, seriously, what, like, what fight do you think you're winning? Y'all got to stop watching Tyler Perry movies. That shit got y'all all fucked up. That Medea grit scene is apparently what everybody keeps thinking about. I seen the movie too. So I know when your non cooking ass all of a sudden got hot grits on the stove. I, I, I know what's up. Like this, come on, man. And who the hell has a cast iron skillet on out in the open on the stove with no grease in it? Just there. I'm a I'm a run in it. I'm gonna walk right into that one, huh? And this is the the the, the this is where you want to take the conversation. So if I can whoop your ass sufficiently enough. All right, sure. I'll give it my best shot. My granny shot my at my grandpa multiple times, and they stayed together until he died. Y'all don't want me on that type of time. What exactly is appealing about this? Y'all do understand the only guy who could find this attractive is a guy who literally who actually is straight up violent. That is the only guy who could find this attractive. I can't I can't think of this definitely is not attractive to me at all. Us contemplate like, alright, so to let you know, if you whip my ass, I'm going to fight back with hot grits and an iron skillet. All right, I guess I got to make sure. You, this, is, this is not enjoyable. But this, again, is the type of, these are the type of relationships that y'all enjoy. Real shit. Y'all enjoy this shit. So when dudes get to talking crazy, when dudes are abusive, Remember, that's what y'all like. That's what the fuck y'all like. Y'all don't want to... Y'all don't want a stable guy. I know that's like, at this point, cliche in this space. But you don't. You can't. You want a always threatening situation. I guess because it tickles your fanny. This shit is sad. That we're to the point... That I guess for you to enjoy your lifetime with someone, there has to be a threat of violence there. Because there, I, I, I keep coming across that time and time and time again. Time and time and time again. Better to be a widow than a divorce. That if you don't get it, she's talking about killing them. That's also a theme throughout this. Let's take this outside of relationships. 
I just saw a reel where a girl was a um, black girl. She she was at the gym hooping, and she got into it with this white guy because he kept saying the N word. And people in the comment section like, they didn't do anything to help and still pin and blah blah blah. I remember back in the day where it got real heated about protecting. It was protecting black women, but I mean, if you want to go, just include Americans in general, because that's what's here. It ain't just black women here. Wherever you want to take it, that's fine. But this constant, men should protect. Men should protect. Men? Who? Y'all? And this? Really? Who the fuck is doing that? Who's protecting the, I shoot at you? Who the fuck is protecting that? That's, no. No. Ew. That's that, that's try. Like the idea of nah 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 y'all niggas too. Pump your pump your chest up just like you're doing in the comment section and fight to fight the battles. Even if it is a dude, fight them down fight them battles by yourself. Let's see what all lips is working with. She looks cute. I ain't gonna take that away from her. But why does her face look lopsided? It must be the angles. Oh, talking shit. May Instagram shut down my first page. Starting over. Wife, mother, entrepreneur. Let's talk some real shit. And that's another thing. It really be some chicks that say they're wives. They be in the comment sections talking shit like that. Just egging on. A conversation they're not even a part of. But the negativity though. How that's that's not helpful. That's literally the opposite. That's the op like you're drawing more of a separation of the two sides while you got yours. How how shitty is that to do? You got your partner, your mate, but you going to put shit out there that makes people, other people, less likely to get theirs. Damn. That's fucked up. That is really, really fucked up. There's a lot of speculation going on that I'm not getting... Listen, in your relationship, y'all have to learn not to pull triggers intentionally in y'all arguments. Like, one of my triggers is you yelling at me, especially, like, in my face, and, like, talking to me like this. Just use the grits. What happened? Just, you, go ahead and use the grits. What happened, what happened to the grits? In the skillet. In the, in the bullets. To the ones that don't want to be in no committed relationship and don't want to be married, what you gonna do when your mama die? Like, your mama is your emergency contact, and she gonna die before you. That's what's supposed to happen. So when your mama die, what you gonna do if you get into a car accident or have a stroke or a heart attack? Asking that question while literally driving a thread that causes more separation. Gotta love it. Husbands, primarily. If you feel like you're carrying weight, you're in the right position. We are the foundation. We are the foundation of the family. If it feels like you're carrying with the weight of responsibility and it's tough being a man and all that kind of stuff, that means you're doing it right. Because you're the foundation. I could agree with that. But that's not some shit you had me at 40. It's not. Don't just bring me shit you built up in your own life and now, well... Nah, this is your burden. Nah, if we ain't creating the burdens together, don't just be like, you're a man, you carry all of them. No. That's not automatic after like 23. That's not automatic. We can sit down, talk about what each other's going to do and blah, blah, blah. But in no way, in no way are we just going to automatic gender roles when your gender role of getting married and producing kids at in your early 20s wasn't automatic. We're not doing that.
fellas, I don't know if you knew or not, but you got two options. Either you want somebody with estrogen or you want somebody with testosterone. The peoples with estrogen are emotional. Um, they're nurturing. They have different needs uh, because they have a hormone called estrogen. Just like the people over there with that hormone called testosterone, they don't act like the people with uh with estrogen. But you don't like nobody that got estrogen. You don't like the emotion. You don't like nothing. So False. We don't like it when you use it as an excuse for every fucking thing. You're you like now she said emotional. But every time it's convenient is men are emotional too. So why so what was your point of saying you're emotional? If you get to flip it on me and say you're emotional too, well, I I should be able to have the same excuses for shit you got. I should be able to act exactly the same and you shouldn't you shouldn't flinch. Cause you got the same emotions I got. I got emotion, I'm emotional, you're emotional. But you don't want it again, the convenience of that in that case, at that point, that's when you're weaponizing your uh um your I guess gender role as as a woman at that point. When it's really grown men out here mad because grown women are doing the things for themselves that they said they weren't going to do for us. Like, y'all stay saying y'all not about to pay all the bills. Okay, cool. We got our own job, so now we don't need you to pay all the bills. Fixed it. I'm not buying you no house, not buying you no car, I'm not taking you on no trips, not cash you out, none of that. And we said, okay, cool. Now we buying our own Birkin bags, taking our own trips to Dubai, cashing out because we got careers to provide ourselves with the life that you said y'all weren't going to, to provide for us. And now that we've, like, mastered the financial part of it, y'all like, oh, y'all women is too independent. Y'all don't need no man. Not for the financial part, because y'all made it very clear. There's financial shit y'all just not gonna do. So now that we don't need the money, we need other stuff from you. We need you to be emotionally mature. We need you to be reliable, dependable, be a respectful and respectable man. Be trustworthy. We need you to be a good leader, but y'all falling short. And instead of saying I don't, you falling short, you're just like, oh my God, independent women. Why do y'all make it seem as if what came first was we stopped? Like dudes just stopped providing or stopped playing the, the man role. And then women pretty much were damn near on the brink of homeless or they couldn't leave out of their mother and parents. house. But no. The protesting in the streets with y'all titties out to get jobs and all this other shit came first. Remember? Feminism? That came first. Now, as far as dudes saying they're not going to provide, that came much, much later. When? Well, like I said earlier, when y'all made it very clear, yeah, we ain't doing that whole just me being your wife shit. Nah. Until, of course, you get tired of working at like 40 and say, oh, now's a good time to actually do that. That's when dudes start saying, mm, no, I'm not just, I'm not just going, no, no, that's, that's not happening. I'm not just going to just give you shit because you said I man and you woman. Because I couldn't say that shit when we, when we were young. So we're not just going to let that shit fly now. Now, as far as buying a house and buying all this and buying, stop it. Dudes are still willing to do that. Again, there, it's just dudes is not willing to do that shit automatically when you get and you get, get to just sit up. That's what dudes don't want to do. That's what they don't want to do. What else did she say? Has everything to do with your character. Nothing. Man, be trustworthy. We need you to be a good leader. Okay, I've said this before. I'm really sick of that because you're lying. Again. You want to have all your shit in play already set up how you like it. And then if a man comes in, remember, you don't want him to have to change or especially take away anything, right? You want him to run the ship exactly how you already got to run it. That's not a leader. A leader comes in and just like you would you get on any ship or any car, any whatever, they're going to adjust everything to how they like it. 
Now, of course, they're gonna look at the pa look out for the passengers or whatnot, but it's not they're not just gonna leave everything as is. So if you got all this this out of whack budget of Birkin bag and driver land and blah, he gonna look at that and go, you you want to have a soft life now where you don't work? Okay, well this budget is getting slashed down to this. That that's on an ass per basis. So that's not even a budget. Um, this and then blah blah, blah. like a leader does that. You want to do to just come in and just start paying the bills and not change it. That's not a leader. So you don't want a leader. Stop lying. Stop saying that. It's just a word you use to say, you're supposed to come in and make me not have to work. And work. That, that's really what that means. And no, I'm sorry. In this day and age, y'all don't have that privilege because we're not, well, we're a little stupid. But we're not that stupid. Are independent women are the problem, nah, bro. You just have bad kids taking our own trips to Dubai, cashing out because we got career. Look at that, look at that. I remember I was in a relationship with a with, with a girl, and if I didn't want to go to the movies, specifically when when she wanted to go to the movies, because I like to go when there's like when it's like not crowded, especially because she liked that like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and shit. I like to go, like I said, when there's less people. So I like to let it die down a couple weeks, two or three weeks, then go. Her response to me every time with whatever movie was coming out was, I, I just go by myself. Well, if your response to something that I don't want to go do exactly what you want to do exactly, exactly when you want to do it, that's, that's not... That's I that don't. That's not desirable. Are the people that you? That's not desirable. Cause you're telling me that you, I, I'm just here. I'm just here. You could take it or leave it, on 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 a given day too. You don't like that. You don't like the idea that if I feel that if I you just say character, that if I just decided on a, whatever day, ah oh, fuck it. Uh, I don't like this bitch no way. You would you would like you would dislike that. But we're supposed to we're supposed, we're supposed to like that? I'll I'll take my own trip to Dubai. I do my own. So now I gotta jump on the track and and just and just run, run with you. Run, run. I'm I'm supposed to do that. That it's not again, it's not desirable. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop giving entrepreneur ideas to your entrepreneurial friends when you don't have a, a... I don't know who needs to hear this, but these are the men that we're talking about. The violent men that you say do not exist. The violent men where you're like, well, what did you do? Because, well, he wouldn't just know. They, they just be doing shit. You're using that guy as an example. A criminal. A dude who's obviously out of his mind. Matt, you're only proving the point. Don't be in a relationship with whoever the fuck that is. Y'all will literally ignore the fact that, that y'all want us to believe that dudes like that are just calm, cool, happy, exciting, fun to be around, no red flags, and then out of nowhere, he just whoops your ass one day. Y'all really be trying to sell us on that. That's what we call bullshit wrong with you hey y'all do know that like all titty sag right cps called me this morning i'm from detroit of course i agree people what up though i'm from detroit all right i'm i'm done with uh all lips um obviously i disagree with everything she says um i think she's from detroit the way she you know shout out to her on that regard because she mentions detroit or not um uh shit. But yeah, um we originally started what did we originally start with? Y'all get the point because I can't remember I can't remember where where I where we started. So yeah, be right. Not pop hit the like button. Throw your comments in the comment section. Getting a lot of comments lately. I like that. And uh yeah, just you know, let me know. How what y'all how y'all feel about it? Her content in general. Yeah, be right, not positive. I'm out.